Hello. Hello. Together we are going to discover mathematics. Thanks to this memorising technique, you are going to remember your multiplication tables in record time. All the characters you will meet represent a number. For example, the number four is represented by Vamp4, the vampire. <coughs> then, you will learn your multiplication tables by looking at the really funny cartoons. <coughs> And finally, there are some quizzes to test what you have learnt. You will see, you will make progress as quick as lightning. Wonder Wand represents the number 1. Wonder Wand is a magic wand who loves to play tricks. She changes everyone she touches into a clown. And Wonder Wand... Well done. Now you know. Wonder Wand. What's the story of one times one? Mrs. Wonder Wand can't help playing tricks on her friends. <laughs> when she comes across Mr. Wonder Wand, she casts a spell and changes him into a Wonder Wand clown. One times one is one. <laughs> two squeaks represents the number two. Two Squeaks is a very timid mouse. She gives a piercing screech when she is frightened. And Two Squeaks. Well done. Now you know. Two Squeaks. What's the story of two times two? When Mrs. Two Squeaks meets Mr. Two Squeaks, she invites him to share a magnificent slice of cheese. Mrs. Two Squeaks nibbles a corner at the bottom, and Mr. Two Squeaks nibbles a corner at the top. The two mice aren't hungry anymore. They put the rest of their meal to one side, which has taken the shape of a four. Two times two is four. Drakenstein represents the number three. Drakenstein is a monster who has a tendency to break into a thousand pieces. And Drakenstein. Well done. Now you know. Drakenstein. What's the story of three times three? Little Drakenstein loves jumping in big muddy puddles. But Mummy Threekenstein really doesn't like him doing it, but not at all. She immediately dashes to get the shower. In the form of a nine, he he, Operation Washdown can start. Three times three is nine. Vamp Fort represents the number four.
Umphor is a vampire who loves biting all that is around him. And Vampfor. Well done. Now you know. Vampfor. What's the story of? Four times five. Vampfor isn't very good with matches. He tries as hard as he can to strike them, but he can never do it. <laughs> Suddenly, Flaming Five arrives, and Vampfor has an idea. He bites the dragon's tail. <laughs> who breathes out an enormous flame in the shape of a two. At last, Mr. Vampfor's pumpkin, which is in the shape of a zero, is finally a light. Four times five is twenty. Flaming five represents the number five. Flaming Five is a dragon who likes setting fire to things. He can't help breathing flames. And Flaming Five. Well done. Now you know. Flaming Five. What's the story of? Five times six. When Flaming Five sees Scorpy Six going by, he wants to tame him. <laughs> he gets out his whip and he cracks it in the shape of a three <laughs> and breathes out a flame <gasps> to light the magnificent ring of fire in the shape of a zero. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh. so who's the strongest now? Five times six is thirty. Scorpy Six represents the number six. Scorpy Six is a scorpion who uses his sting to frighten others. And Scorpy Six. Well done. Now you know. Scorpy Six. What's the story of? Six times eight. When Scorpy Six meets Spooky Eight, he can't help playing a trick on him and lifts up his sheet. Poor Spooky Eight suddenly feels a draft. Feeling very embarrassed, he hides behind a cactus in the shape of a four and makes himself some clothes out of thorns and flowers. Oof, Spooky Eight has regained his shape of an eight. Six times eight is forty-eight. Ram Seven represents the number seven. Ram Seven is a mummy who is so old she has been wearing the same bandages for centuries. And Ram Seven. Well done. Now you know. Ram Seven. What's the story of? Seven times seven. It's the new year. Granny Ram Seven and Grandpa Ram Seven are having a party. Grandpa wants to play a trick on Granny. <laughs> he blows his party trumpet right in her ear. <laughs> Granny Ram Seven is so surprised, she loses her hat in the shape of a four. She angrily seizes Grandpa's toy, which is in the shape of a nine and gets rid of it once and for all. 
Come on, the party's over. Time for bed. Seven times seven is forty-nine. Spooky eight represents the number eight. Spooky eight is a ghost who loves frightening her friends. <laughs> and Spooky eight. Well done. Now you know. Spooky eight. What's the story of eight times nine? When Spooky ate the ghost, sees Slimy Nine, he rushes to give him a fright. Slimy Nine jumps and bumps into a set of armour in the shape of a seven, which loses an arm in the shape of a two. Eight times nine is seventy-two. Slimy Nine represents the number nine. Slimy Nine is a worm that everyone wants to eat. Luckily, he can hide underground. And Slimy Nine. Well done. Now you know. Slimy Nine. What's the story of nine times ten? When Slimy Nine meets the potion Magi Ten, it makes him very, very hungry. He dives headfirst into the cauldron and comes out feeling very full. He gives an enormous magic burp and blows a bubble in the shape of a zero. Wow. Nine times ten is ninety. Magi ten represents a number ten. Magi Ten is a magic potion who makes people give funny burps. And Magi Ten. Well done. Now you know. Magi Ten. What's the story of ten times ten? When the potion Magi Ten meets another one, it makes her very, very hungry. She dives headfirst into the cauldron and comes out feeling very full. She gives an enormous magic burp and blows a bubble in the shape of a zero. Ten times ten is 100.